Hi everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Uh, we're here for part three of our Little Golden Book series. I've got uh, Little Golden Book Land here in front of me. We've sorted out which pages we want in each signature, so I have three piles of pages. I'm going to put the cover to the side and the fabric to the side that goes with it. So let's take these one signature at a time. Let's do the first one here. So in the first signature I have the three pages of the storybook and I've marked the pages one, two, and three so we don't get them out of order. Uh, now we need to decide how... Now I know this is going to be my cover of my signature so I'm going to fold this in half. See if we can get it to go in half. Relatively straight. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's some thick cardstock. Let me get my get my bone folder out here and press that down. You can also use just like the back of a pair of scissors or whatever. The scissor handles. There we go. Okay, so that's our signature cover. What about this little guy? Hmm. Our cover doesn't go all the way across. Eh, we knew that. I may, um, sew some lace or something on there so you can't tell. Or should we just put this as the first page? So when you open the book you see the title. I kind of like that too. And we could always change it later. Alright, so let's go with that being the first page. And then you see this. And then Put a little piece of writing paper. I'm just going to fold this one in half. Put that in there. And then another page. And instead of folding this one in half, I think I'm going to move it like this. So I'll have a big page on this side and a smaller page on the other side. That'll be cute. Have two different sizes. And I may even take this and fold it in just to give it a little more more interesting. There we go. That's cute. Then I think the scrapbook paper. I'm going to fold that in half. Sorry about the lighting, it's kind of, it's getting cloudy this afternoon, so I had to turn my light on over there. Not sure how, how well this is working. All right, and then, well, let me see, what do I want? Do I want that to be the center? I kind of like that picture. I want that to be the center. Maybe put the yellow paper back there. Yeah, let's do that. And this one I'm going to fold off center as well. I'm going to have a small page up front. And then I'll fold this in for a little you can either make it a pocket or a little flip out. Okay. So what do we think? Let's see. Here's a book page. This cute little yellow thing. Little pokey little puppy. Pocket. Writing paper. And then this cool picture in the middle of the signature. All right, good. Okay, that's cute. There's signature one. Put 
that off to the side here. Let's do number two. Okay, so this is the middle signature, so it doesn't have any of the story. We don't have to worry about putting any of that in. We can fold our cover in half. There we go. Oh, or do I want to put it this way? That's kind of cool too. Hmm, have the pocket on the outside. Yeah, why not? Let's do a pocket on the outside this time. Okay, just get that a press down there. This is very thick cardstock. I'll have to remember where I got this and get some more of this. It's very pretty. I love the double-sided printing. Okay, so we've got this. Maybe some music. Ledger paper. What do we want in the center? Do I want the fairy door? Do I want this? What do we want to be the center of the signature? Or the music. Kind of like the music. I might save that for the center. Okay. Coloring page. Let's do our writing page off center. Let's just give this a little bit of interest. Fold it that way. We'll leave that long for now. the scrapbook. Give me a little half page on this side. And then perhaps fold this one in a bit. There we go. I have this cute... Yeah, there we go. Have our little bug. Partial page and music in the middle. Let's see. Let's see how we like that. How does that look? Okay. Cover. Yellow. White. More of this yellow. I think we need to break that yellow up a little more. There we go. And this, and then this in the center. Okay. Yeah, I'll leave that long. I'll fold that later. Once I know how wide I want my my signatures to end up with the lace. Okay, so there's signature number two. And then signature number three. We have another story to put in. Got our cover. Match it up. Ooh, this is thick cardstock. I think I've said that a couple times. <laughs> All right. Got to press down. Okay. Got our cover with a pocket. Page four. We've got our four. Okay, got a lot of yellow in this signature. Okay, let's do this one. Little 
half page trick here. Let's fold that in. in the middle. Okay. So we got our butterflies. Story, page four. Five. Six. And the center. Okay. Now, in each of these signatures, I also want to put an envelope in the middle here. So I've, I've made some. I'm going to show you how I make them now. Um, I've left them unglued so that when we sew the book together, I could sew this right in there. And then once it's sewn, we can close it up and then you'll have a little envelope right in the center to put treasures in. So next I'm going to show you how I made those. Okay. Let's put our signatures to the side. And I have made a stack already. Since we're doing five journals and each has three signatures, I need 15 envelopes. So I didn't think you wanted to watch me make 15 envelopes. <laughs> so I'm going to do the last two on camera with you. So I've made 13. Now I have a We Are Memory Keepers envelope board. And good luck to you if you can read that stuff. I had to take my phone and zoom in on it to read it. So I'm going to be making this size envelope. I'm going to do a 10 and an eighth inch square of paper. And then, oh, let me just show you. I'm getting ahead of myself. First, we need to cut the paper because the scrap of paper is 12 by 12. So going to get out our cutter. And this is multi-directional, so I don't need to worry about it. I'm just going to cut it at 10 and an eighth on both ends. Quarter, eighth. There we go. Save that for later. And 10 and an eighth this direction. Okay. And I just moved that. Let's do that again. I really probably cut both of those at the same time. Oh well, here we go. Let's do it again. Ten and an eighth. Take that off. And ten and an eighth. There we go. All right, that's it for cutting on this portion. Okay, so when you use the punch board, I figured out whatever you want to be the top flap of your envelope, say you have something you want to be the top flap, it's always going to be this upper right hand corner will be the bigger flap when I'm doing these envelopes. I don't know about any other size, but in this one it has been. So I think I want... I think I want this to be my upper flap. So I'm going to put that over here. Now, according to the directions on the punch board, my first score mark has to be at four and a half inches. So I've got my top tab, top flap facing that way. And you come over here and go to four and a half up here on the board. I am in frame. Yes, good. Um, the board comes with this little score tool. So... We go to four and a half, we punch, and then there's a, a score line here that you follow with the tool to make your fold. That line right there. Then you turn it a quarter inch counterclockwise to your left. And you're going to take that fold line you just made, and you're going to line it up with this little pokey part that's sticking out. You line that up, you punch, and score again and just keep turning to the left. Line it up. 
punch and score. One more time. Line it up. Punch and score. So now you have your two sides. And we got these pretty flowers on the top flap. Now on the back side here you can round the top. You can round your corners if you want to. It's not required. Just makes a nice little point. And then I like to take the bottom, fold it in, see where it's going to hit on here. Get your scissors. I'm kind of looking underneath to see where the point is on those, and I'm just going to give this a lop off because I don't like that pointy part sticking up. There, so I can either close the envelope like this, or I can close it with the points on the top. Whatever you prefer. You can also round those if you like. I, uh, I rounded some. I didn't round some. Just depends. You can make them all different if you want. So there's envelope 14. All right, let's go to this one. So this is a nice all-over pattern. I don't think it really matters where the top is. Okay, so we're going to score at four and a half. The only one you have to measure is the first the first score. We're going to punch and we're going to go in that little line. Turn it counterclockwise and then you just line up the line with this little pokey. Punch and score. You can score first, punch first, whatever you like. I just try to do it in the same order. Let's see, line it up, punch and score. Last one. Just remember you're going counterclockwise each time. Punch and score. And we'll make this one the top. Why not? Is here. There we go. All right, and there's envelope number fifteen. Okay, well. I think it's time I need to start dinner. So I will be back with you again and we'll move on to the next step in making our little journals. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, if you are, if you could give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe to my channel, you can get to see the rest. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.